human resources all human beings engaged in some useful activities represent the human resources every human being is a potential resource for the society it was felt that by providing education training nutritious food and health facilities people can produce more than what is being done by illiterate and untrained people study at a glance human resource importance of human resource composition of human resources population distribution factors affecting distribution of population spatial distribution of population density of population and population change human resource human resource is a term which describes the combination of traditionally administrative personal functions with performance management employee relations and resource planning importance of human resource human resources are important to each individual because they assist other people in improving and using their capacities and potentialities to the utmost example an engineer a teacher etc with ever developing skills and aptitudes the individual has become increasingly proficient in overcoming many hurdles the contribution of those who do not work for wages is also very relevant for a country many women in our country do not go to work outside their home they do household chores taking care of the children and the elderly when the women are educated they do their housework educate their children in a better way than when they are uneducated by taking care of the children women help in developing the country as the children are the ones who work in the later years to become human resources of the country composition of human resources the composition of human resources of a country explains the basic characteristic of the total population we can see it through traits such as age sex literacy occupation tribe language religion now let us look at three major components of the population namely sex composition age structure literacy levels sex composition this means the proportion of male and female in the total population it is expressed with the help of a ratio which is known as sex ratio it is defined as the number of females per 1000 males in the population example if the sex ratio of a country is 1000 this ratio implies that the total number of male and female in that country is equal if the ratio is 1100 it implies more females than males in that country This figure suggests that the sex ratio is favorable to females. If the sex ratio is less than 1000, say 900, it means that the sex ratio is unfavorable to females. Sex ratio India. In India, the sex ratio is 933 according to the 2001 census. The following table shows sex ratio in India. for the period 1901 to 2001 census year 1901 sex ratio that is females per 1000 males was 972 in 1911 it was 964 in 1921 955 1931 950 1941 945 in the year 1961 the sex ratio was 941 in 1971 
it was 930. 1981, 934. 1991, 927. And in 2001, 933. Among different states and union territories, Kerala and Pondicherry have sex ratio of above 1000. Sex ratio may be favorable and unfavorable population distribution. One of the important aspects of world's population is its uneven distribution. The population of India is highly concentrated in highly urbanized and industrialized areas and areas of high agricultural prosperity. There are fewer people in high mountains, arid lands, thickly forested areas and cold polar areas. Factors affecting distribution of population. There are geographical, social and economic factors which control the distribution of population. All the factors work in combination to control population distribution. Geographical factors. Some geographical factors that affect distribution of population are relief features, climate, fertility of soil, development of industries. Relief features. Relief of the land plays a dominant role to influence the population distribution. Plains attract population while mountainous areas, bad lands, rough and rugged lands repel population. The plains or the lowlands are the extensive areas favoring settlement. They are easily accessible and provide base for agricultural development. Climate Climate is another important factor. Polar areas and high mountain regions which are snow-capped are too cold to attract people. Agriculture is not possible there. Hot deserts are too hot and dry to support population or agriculture. Only the areas with favorable climate attracts settlement. Fertility of soil Fertility of soil attracts people. Fertile soils are the support base for agriculture. Southeast Asia and the Nile Delta are thickly populated only because they have rich soils. Development of industries Development of industries is another factor. Industries provide jobs and hence attract people thus increasing the density of population. Industrial nations of Europe and Japan are thickly populated largely because of industrialization. Social and economic factors Religious Cultural, industrial and commercial centers attract people from all over the world. Some of the cities in India such as Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh, Puri in Orissa, Kanchipuram in Tamil Nadu, Tirupati in Andhra Pradesh etc. are examples of religious centers. In India, cities such as Mumbai, Bangalore, Kolkata, Delhi, etc. are examples of industrial centers. Tokyo and New York are also good examples of industrial and commercial centers. Spatial distribution of population The total number of people living in the world has crossed 6 billion in 2001. Distribution of the world population can be clearly understood from the diagram. Out of 6 billion people, about 60% are living in Asia, 13% in Africa, 12% in Europe, 14% in America and 1% in Oceania. India India is the second largest populated country in the world after China. Nearly half the population lives in five states. Uttar Pradesh Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. The other half lives in 23 states 
and seven union territories. About one sixth of the population resides in Uttar Pradesh alone. Density of population The number of people living in a unit area of the surface area is called population density. On the basis of density, we can classify the world into the following categories. Areas of high density, areas of moderate density, and areas of low density. Areas of high density. There are only a few areas where the density of population is very high. All these areas have favorable climatic conditions, fertile soil for the development of agriculture, level terrain and good network of roads and railway lines. The areas of high density are Southeast Asian countries like Eastern China, Japan, Korea, India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Areas of moderate density Areas of moderate densities have facilities for irrigation and mining. The moderately populated areas are Central USA, Southern Russia, Ukraine, Central China, Plateau region of India, South Africa, Argentina, coastal parts of South America, Central America, Australia, etc. Areas of low density. Areas having very low density are the rough and rugged lands, highly mountainous areas, areas which are too cold or too hot, too wet or too dry. The forested lands and desert lands fall in this category. Areas of low density are the polar areas like Antarctica, Arctic region, Greenland, Australian desert, etc. Population density in India India is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. The most striking feature of population density in India is that it has been consistently increasing over the years. India's density in 2001 was 324 persons per square kilometer. Within the country, the density varies from region to region. Union territories of Delhi and Chandigarh have the density of 9,300 and 7,900 persons per square kilometers respectively. Whereas the density in Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram is 13 and 43 persons per square kilometer respectively. Populi population change The phenomenon of knowing whether the population increased, decreased or remained stable is called population change. This change takes place due to natural growth and migration. When people took up to permanent farming and agriculture developed in the river valleys, there was steady growth of population. People migrated to new areas where climatic conditions were more favorable. Population began to grow rapidly during the 19th century because of better medical facilities. Changes in the population occur due to the changes in birth rate, BR, death rate, DR and natural growth rate, NGR. Birth rate Birth rate is defined as total number of births per thousand population. Death rate Death rate is defined as the total number of deaths per thousand population. Natural growth rate. The difference between birth rate and death rate is called natural growth rate of population. The population increase in the world is mainly due to rapid increase in natural growth rate. In the past, the difference between birth rate and death rate was not much in the world. It resulted in low population growth. After Industrial Revolution, improvement in the standard of living led to decline in death rate without any major decline in the birth rate. 
this has led to increase in the natural growth rate. In India, during 1981 to 1991, the birth rate was 11 and the natural growth rate was 20. The increase in natural growth rate increased from 6 in 1911 to 18 in 1998. This is the reason for population increase in India. The developing nations in Asia, Africa and South America have high birth rate and low death rate. Their annual growth rate is almost double than the developed countries. Summary Human beings are the only creations endowed with the power of reasoning and skills to make their lives more comfortable. Composition of human resources of a country explains the basic characteristic of the total population. The population of India is highly concentrated in highly urbanized and industrialized areas and areas of high agricultural prosperity. There are geographical, social and economic factors which affect population. Distribution of population is highly uneven in the world. On the basis of density, we can classify the world into areas of high density, areas of low density and areas of moderate density. Population change takes place due to natural growth and migration. The growth rate of population has an adverse effect on development. 